Phineas Gage was once an ordinary railroad foreman. He was a happy, healthy, and friendly person until a freak accident caused him irreparable brain damage. Now, Gage is remembered as a famous medical mystery. The accident that drastically changed his life and personality also changed contemporary understandings of the human brain. The horrific accident occurred in 1848 when Phineas Gage was clearing rocks from a new railroad's future path. He was placing gunpowder into the cracks and rocks and then detonating them to clear them. One day, he made a mistake with his explosives. Gage forgot to cover the gunpowder he was patting down with sand. When he tried to pat the gunpowder into the rock, it exploded and launched a three-foot-long metal pole through his skull. The projectile dragged parts of both his frontal lobes along with it. Despite the gruesome injury, Gage was relatively unaffected by the accident. Some reports say that he convulsed for the first minute after the impact, but many believe that he never actually lost consciousness. Regardless, he was undoubtedly conscious about one minute after the impact. Gage sat up and actually spoke to his fellow railroad workers. When they wheeled him to a doctor, he insisted on being given his time book to continue doing his job as a foreman. While Gage's determination to continue working despite his terrible injury may seem odd, the effects of his injury were even stranger. The open brain wound healed after only 10 weeks, and Gage was able to count, sing, feed and dress himself, and make sense of information that was given to him. Some aspects of Gage never fully recovered, however. His personality was completely different. His old friends could not tolerate his newly inconsiderate attitude, inexplicable temper, and constant profanity. Soon, he was fired from his job for being nasty to co-workers, people who he had worked well with just ten weeks before. Gage was so out of control that men kept him away from women and children because he was considered too vulgar for them. Even though he had physically healed, something was still wrong. As his doctor said, Gage was no longer Gage. Eleven and a half years after the accident, Gage died. Unfortunately for the medical community, no autopsy was conducted on his unique brain. Years later, his body was exhumed with permission from his family, and scientists studied his skull. They saw approximately where the rod traveled through his head, and did their best to understand the damage with their limited understanding of the brain. The case study became an essential part of the debate regarding the function of the brain in the mid-1800s. Two prominent schools of thought existed. Ironically, both used Gage as support for their theory. One group believed that the brain was connected by a vital force. Due to this vital force, any part of the brain could perform any of its functions. Therefore, someone like Gage could still think and behave like everyone else despite having lost a large piece of his brain. The other group of brain theorists, commonly referred to as the localizers, thought that the brain had different parts that localized specific functions. They pointed out that Phineas Gage's personality was never the same after the accident. The localizers believed that the damage to the brain caused the lasting change in Gage's personality. Ultimately, both competing schools of thought were integrated into contemporary brain theory. The brain does have specific localized functions. Modern research has shown that motor functions are certainly localized to specific areas. Localizers, however, underestimated the interconnectedness of the brain. The brain has trillions of synapse connections, and many human functions, such as memory, are impossible to localize to only one area in the brain. Recent studies have shed more light on Phineas Gage's specific condition. Damage to the frontal lobes has been shown to cause behavior spontaneity. Patients with frontal lobe damage often have difficulty interpreting information from their environments, taking risks, and complying with the rules. Especially with injuries that damage both lobes, a person's personality is often drastically altered. These recent studies help explain the effects of Phineas Gage's injury. Still, scientists wish to better understand Gage's disorder and the underlying brain science that could explain it.